now to a rare scene at sea, video capturing those dozens of dolphins swimming and leaping alongside a boat off of Laguna Beach in California. I could watch this all day. Now, Chuck Patterson says he was driving the boat on Sunday when suddenly the dolphins started following in his wake. He estimated the more than 100 of them surrounded the boat. Patterson says the dolphins seemed super happy and even from the boat, you could, quote, feel the energy. Six tonight, why do birds in a small corner of Dunkirk keep on dying? This is the area by Save a Lot on Main Street where neighbors say they keep finding the dead birds. This whole street was covered in them. Like, you had to like dodge your car around them so you wouldn't hit them. DPW crews were out here on Tuesday and we're told they cleaned up about 12 dead birds. Well, just eight hours later, we already found four more on the property. It's suspicious. He says he's not sure why they're dying, but they're asking the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Chautauqua County Department of Health, and the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation to investigate. I'm hoping that it's natural causes. We should note, though, that most of the gulls we found today were found in the grass and not on the road. Way. What a bizarre story. I know. How are they continuing to play baseball? Definitely have an earthquake going on. There have been distressing scenes at an Adelaide primary school where bloody birds have dropped from the trees in front of horrified children at vacation care. A warning that some viewers may find this story upsetting. Animal rescue volunteers rushed to the school yesterday afternoon where the animals were found with blood gushing from their mouths. There was a bird that was just flying in front of me. Something kicked in or whatever has been happening to these birds kicked in and suddenly came tumbling to its death. Obviously it's horrific. Um, they don't, they, they die very painfully. Um, they're very distressed. They're crying. They're bleeding. Volunteers returned to the school grounds today where they found several more dead Corellas. Local vets are still trying to determine how they died. Developing this morning, we are learning more about a rare scene in St. Simon's Island after more than two dozen pilot whales beached themselves. It happened right near shore. Researchers are trying to figure out what caused the pod to swim towards land. We've never had a live mass stranding of pilot whales in coastal Georgia, um, historically, that we're aware of. Um, this is an odd thing to have happened here. You're seeing video of a pod of about 50 pilot whales swimming close to shore in St. Simons Island. Dozens of the animals, which are actually large dolphins, were spotted Tuesday. About six were stuck in shallow water. Dixie McCoy went on Facebook Live to share a look at an unusual occurrence. These are St. Simons Island. All these whales have been washed up to shore. And there's already been one whale that's been attacked by a shark. One after another, whales flopping around, lining the beach, struggling to survive. It is so sad. Oh, my God. Well, I spoke with scientists and lifeguards today, and they all tell me the same thing. They have never seen anything like it before. Everybody was crowded around it. You could tell that this doesn't usually happen on an island like this. 50 pilot whales, a dozen already beached, the rest in shallow water. Oh, poor baby. Rescuers turned waist deep water into whale triage. They said to be careful of the tail, it's very powerful. They physically turned around animals 20 feet long, weighing three tons. It's extremely rare to see something like this, and now they're trying to piece together why dozens of these animals rush towards this beach on St. Simon's Island. No one knows why pilot whales strand themselves. Over the last decade, mass strandings have happened about once a year, right. usually in the southeast, typically in Florida, but not in Georgia. A breaking news, a dead beached whale washed ashore on Navarre Beach this afternoon. Navarre Beach Fire Rescue was there. They released these pictures. No word yet on what killed the whale.
Whales across the world are seeing a decrease in population from the resumption of whale hunting in Japan. To right whales turning up dead in the Atlantic, we're seeing more and more deaths. The eighth dead gray whale was found in BC just a few days ago, and legal action is being taken by environmental groups here in Canada to protect orcas from the Trans Mountain Pipeline. But uh, in addition to that, with the whales dying off both the east and the west coast, as well as a new legal challenge to Trans Mountain, we're going to, to the, uh, because of the, uh, the southern orca whale population, I want to understand where these animals really are under stress. Because clearly, if you look at it today, where, where, where there's barely any harvesting at all versus 60,000 per year uh, back several decades ago, you would imagine that many of the populations have recovered. So I think it's time for a, a bit of a check-in, but also see what we know about why it is these animals are di dying, what is putting them under distress. A 6.5 magnitude earthquake has hit off the coast of Broome in Western Australia. Well, from Broome to Perth, WA has been rocked by the biggest earthquake in the state's history. The 6.6 .6 magnitude quake was felt all the way from Darwin to Perth, described as a once in 20 years event. It rocked buildings and shook homes, with authorities receiving more than a thousand calls. A terrifying 60 seconds as a 6.6 .6 magnitude quake hits our northwest. Oh, what do we do? Everything is shaking. And the shop was just swaying from side to side like the whole building. It was felt in nearby Caratha, Derby, even Darwin. A 7.2 magnitude earthquake has rattled the Northern Territory, shaking buildings and residents have reported cracks appearing in their homes. The first signs of shakes, lights swaying across the Nine newsroom. At a suburban shopping centre, locals rush out the doors. We've just had a bloody earthquake and I thought, oh, felt a bit of a rumble going on. I wasn't sure if it was me guts having a few too many drinks or something like that. And all of a sudden, boom, side to side we go. Earthquakes here aren't unusual, but this caught locals off guard. I felt tremors before, but not like this. But people are basically reporting some uh, loud roaring noises as, as the seismic waves approached and um, some long uh, period shaking associated with that earthquake. Yeah, dead set. Just had an earthquake in Darwin. <laughs> you! An earthquake erupting early this morning in Seattle with a magnitude of 4.6. For millions in the West, yet another round of earthquakes this time. Shaking could be felt in Seattle and news of yet another quake hitting Southern California. Shaking up and down the West Coast tonight near Seattle, a 4.6 magnitude quake rattling people out of bed. Our whole bedroom was shaking. The walls were shaking. And so my wife woke up and said, wow, we just had an earthquake. Everything was shaking. I jumped off the bed and he told me to get my clothes on real quick. So we were kind of in a panic. People in Snohomish County near the epicenter of the 4.6 magnitude earthquake and the 3.5 aftershock felt the ground lift. It wasn't like, you know, a big jolt, but it was enough to feel like you were dropped. 
A few hours later, trembling in the same Southern California region struck by powerful quakes over July 4th weekend. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Today's shaker near Ridgecrest of 4.9 on the magnitude scale. It has been a grueling week for residents in Ridgecrest and Trona as they find themselves in the center of more seismic shifting today. In the last seven days, shifting faults have triggered a swarm of 585 aftershocks above magnitude 3, ending what had been a relatively quiet time for quakes. A day later, a second quake registering 7.1. The shaking even felt at the Los Angeles Dodgers game. How are they continuing to play baseball? Just to give you an idea of how powerful this earthquake was, look at this. The ground is split and there's a gash in the earth. And when the violent shaking started, it shifted the ground and left a crack that stretches for as far as the eye can see through the California desert. The biggest earthquake in two decades struck California's Mojave Desert. It rattled chandeliers and was felt by news presenters 250 miles away in Los Angeles. I think we need to get under the desk. All right, we're going to go to break. Uh, we'll, we'll be right, right back, back we'll after right this. Back. Wow. That many Californians haven't felt for 20 years about the many fault lines that straddle below this region of some 18 million people. Last night, 7.1 magnitude earthquake could be felt across the state. In shutting down a highway strewn with rocks. Cause ceiling lights to sway at this casino. <laughs> Oh my God. Reports of tremors came from as far away as Sacramento, an eight hour drive to the north and several hours to the south in Mexico. The epicenter of the Southern California quake was in the city of Ridgecrest, halfway between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Two magnitude earthquake shook up the already shaken community of Ridgecrest early this morning. The quake is one of thousands of aftershocks to impact the region over the last 11 days. Powerful magnitude six earthquake has hit Bali. The magnitude six tremor struck south of the island this morning, injuring five people. A terrifying wake up call in Bali, the long and powerful shudder sending locals and tourists running to safety. The tourist mecca shaken for around 10 seconds, the gates of this hotel crumbling, debris crashing down. It struck around 8.20 a.m. local time, jolting these Aussie tourists out of bed. Wow. Oh, Bricks and statues smashed and buildings buckled. Eerily, hundreds of fish were found washed up on a beach in Canggu last night, hours before the quake struck. Indonesia no stranger to strong earthquakes, this quake coming just a couple of days after a magnitude 7.3 tremor rocked the eastern Indonesian island of Halmahera, killing two news out of Southern California where another quake, another one shook the Ridgecrest area. That's right. It was a magnitude 4.6 quake that was reported last night about 32 miles from Ridgecrest. Now this comes just after that massive 7.1 quake in the area earlier this month.